Nathanael, how did you discover the Nabi? Um, I came many times to this museum huh? when I was a kid and also when I studied here in the bazaar just next door. Um, and I came to have some ideas. Yeah, I, I stole not uh, quite a bit of ideas here. Mm -hmm. And not only from the Nabis actually, also from Kube. Also, I came to see how Eugène Carrière is doing his contours. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. I could definitely do a show with Ferdinand Hodler that I admire. I really wanted to do an, a, a realistic painting that is not taking itself so seriously. You see what I mean? Yeah, but here is a Nabi, right? Yeah, yeah. So the Nabi um, was, I, I lived for a long time with the little Martobin of Bonnard in my studio and I was really taking it in because I think the Bonnard is so special in how honest he is and how banal his subject can be and, and he makes the spectacular painting out of this banal kind of everybody's subject and, and that's what I want. I want identification. I want everybody can that everybody can see it and say, Yeah I know what you I feel I feel you, you know? And, 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 and if I can do that, then, then I'm happy. So I think if, if, I, if I love the Nabi, it's for that. For that, for what? Intim Identification. Talking to everybody. Th talking very simply about ancient, common feelings. Not site-specific. It's about intimacy? Yes, intimacy, pain, love. A very, very um, archaic subject. You want to, do you think it's archaic? I think it's from when we were in the caves. A bit like painting. I think it's incredible that we're still interested in how light falls on skin or in how someone is um, reading in the park. Because a hundred years after Bonnard painted it, we can still paint the same subject and it's still interesting. Is it interesting? I think. Look, everybody can. So, so why did you decide to, or how did you decide to become an artist? I didn't decide. I didn't know you can become an artist when I lived in Israel. I, I was born in Israel and, and until the age of 23. It's been 12 years I'm in Paris. And when I was in Israel, I thought you can be a teacher for art or um, uh, yeah, work in a restaurant and paint for your... Like, it was. It could be a hobby for you yeah, at that time. I, I would. I, I really wanted it to be my hobby, but uh, but 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 then I I learned that in the bazaar, in the <laughs> and I and I saw that my teacher Philippe Cognier is is gaining uh, his life with you know is is a painter that it could be only a painter. I I learned that he wanted to be a teacher, <laughs> and then I said I have to try. So I stayed after the bazaar in France and I tried. To you know, to, to yeah, to do it. To, to but in Israel, you didn't have access to so much art, right? Um, yeah, I, I think I did. I think my parents are very responsible for my creativity. First of all, for thinking out of the box and questioning everything, and also uh, museums are excellent. Artists are excellent in the Middle East. People should not forget it. It's just that we don't put money in it. Not in Egypt, not in Lebanon, and not in Israel. We don't put enough money in culture. But a lot of money goes to war. And, and, and also, I'm French, so my grandmother in France brought me to Marseille every year. Ah, and your grandmother is very important. Very. Because she's in the, one of the first portraits of the exhibition, right? Yes, and also she's very arty. She, she, What's she, her, what, what, what was her name? Robert Zawi, and I lost her three years ago, suddenly in the night. Wow. Yeah. She was old? 18, no, not old. No. And uh, why was she special for you in, uh, in relation to art? She was special for me, oh, not only in relation to art. First of all, she took me a lot to museums and she, had, she, she, she did a lot of studies, like art history and such, and also she was all the time well-dressed. She was this woman, you know? Uh, uh, Femininity. Amazing, yeah, amazing woman. But especially, I just, the fact that I could bring every Sunday my dirty clothes to her house and she cleaned it for me, I don't have it anymore, you know? Yeah, yeah. And this allegory of, can be able to put something at someone and, and, and it, I don't have it and uh, this was very special. But she's still with you? I feel, look, I think, uh, I look at me today and I'll say I'm sure she's responsible. 
And, and did she have um, uh, some art in her house? Uh, no, um, kind of art. I gave her all my, like, the worst painting I made, I gave her. But not the good ones? No, terrible, terrible paintings. And also she was really hoping I would paint more flowers and, um, and still lifes. So I gave her a lot of these. Uh, and when she died, I, I, I had to take back to my studio more than a hundred paintings. Uh, yeah. And uh, what do what, uh, what you try to do with your paintings? Um, in general, or in the, with the bad paintings? No, with the good ones. With the good ones. <laughs> Identification, we said. But also I try Identification? We said it already. We yes. said identification because it's the most important. But also I need to paint. If I don't paint, I, I'm a terrible person. So I have to paint. I have to all the time go back to the studio and, and, and take out everything um, with paint. It's very therapeutic. And also when I see someone, I need to paint him because I know something about him or because I saw something in him that I can say I have to paint him. So I will tell him that you need to come to the studio and I will pay him or something, but he just need to sit and we do it. And that sometimes it's very urgent. And also if something happened and I, I need to, um, I want to, to explain to the world, for example, you see this painting. Let's go. Yeah, you see this painting with Ahmed there is, um, He's sewing, you see what his machine Yes. I saw Ahmed in his shop in the 18th, in, in the 18th uh, in Paris, and his sadness was huge. I, he was such a melancholic man, and I, I had to paint him and to, and to say to the world, uh, look, I mean, let's, do, let's talk about sadness with, with Ahmed's face and gesture. And uh, so, but there's a... Uh, that's a danger with realism. Why? Because uh, it's different. You have a special technique. Could you speak about the technique? Yes, I have a special technique uh, that I didn't invent. It's a very old technique. Uh, it's called calcium with rabbit skin glue that I mix. And then I make the surface that look like fresco or cave. And then it's like drinking everything I put on it so it's very very dry and matte. Why do you want that? Because I want to feel like a cave. <laughs> <laughs> you are painting, well, how could you qualify your style? Uh, I think it's very much um, like the middle age, like a very Yoto kind of style. Primitive? Nice. Yeah, primitive. I don't want it to be photographical. If you think my painting is photographical, please tell me and I will try to change still and make it better because I don't want to have this um, after 19th century sense. I, I want to say until 19th century. I but, uh, so how is, how is your painting contemporary? I don't give a shit if it's not contemporary, but I think it's still contemporary because I paint everything I see. Yeah. I don't care about in Rangar or whatever. I think it, because I paint a little computer or the tickets for the theater or the pregnancy test, so it's contemporary. Could we? Could could you comment about one work here? I need to choose one work. Do this. Yes, I mean from the Nabi. From the Nabi. Thank you. Um, I would love to comment on. The it's crowded here. I would like to comment on Latino, is it possible? Yes. This is Valoton. Valoton. Alors, Valoton, he was a writer also. And I think the storytelling is very, very uh, um, significant here. But especially, he's very good at dinner painting. And dinner painting is what I want to make and to, and to, and to manage to make one good dinner painting. Why is it too. important, dinner because, painting? Uh, it's so much easier to paint just uh, the still life or just one person with still life and all that. I want to manage to paint a dinner painting where you have a lot of, a lot of eyes, a lot of hands, a lot of things happening between the... Look how magical what's happening between the things. And I'm only 35. And the shadow, the shadow is the hero of the it's dinner. Amazing. Is look at who is doing it? Oh, even today, no one is is that creative. And 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 so when I look at this, I say I'm so happy. I have so much more to do with painting and to learn and 
and I, I'm so happy to go back to the studio when I see this, you see? Mm. Yeah. So you have painted one painting in relation with another painting. Can we go and see it? Yes, but we must admit that I also made a lot of paintings that didn't work of uh, dinners that are not here, thank God. <laughs> It's very crowded, huh? So first, there's a lady with a cat. Yes. This painting, when I saw it, I decided I want to do a painting that is an homage for this, because the whole show was made um, just with me, with myself, and then Nicola came and he said, we're going to take this painting from your past and this painting from your past. And I wanted to do one painting that I make for the show. So I decided to take this painting and to try to do a um, dialogue with it. I'm not as free as Bonnard to do uh, two Just points. a doll in the first. Uh, I didn't see. Oh, I, I didn't know. I didn't saw it's a doll. I thought it's an orange. I don't know, whatever. Ah, yeah, probably know. could be also. But why do you like this painting? First of all, because the freedom of doing uh, um, this color for grapes, or to put as much as paint here on the cat regarding the violet under it. I mean, I'm not that free yet, and maybe one day I will be. But I still wanted to, to, to dialogue with this painting for the subject matter. And so can we go to the painting yes, you yes, have done? It's just here, yeah, I'll show you. So is it a real girl? Yes, it's my sister. I painted my sister 27 times, and I can paint it today from uh, imagination. Cause I really learned her. And also, she's very horizontal. Most of the time, I can see her um, lying or sitting, and I, I, I see her, and I want to paint her all, all the time. Uh, I don't know why. I, don't, I have it also with my friend Eleni. With some people, it's like that. I, I need to paint them again and again. But I think a lot of painters have it. Like, but now with Mart and, and etc. And so here we see the still life of the of the dinner of the sorry of the <laughs> idea <yeah. laughs> of the breakfast. This is just the breakfast. And, and here she's sniffing the cat like this and, and, and loving the cat. Yeah, loving the cat and even using the cat a bit to yeah to feel, you know. And uh, what is next? What do you dream to do now? First After Orsay, it's difficult, no? Yes, but, for, but uh, we talk painting. First of all, emancipate myself from the Nabi. Now I want to do harder painting. What is harder? Harder, um, um, much more, um, much more maybe um, uh, of interior, um, um, the harder part of myself. And what does it mean? <laughs> we will see. Yeah. And then uh, my next show is in China. Where? Uh, in the Hu Museum. And I'm going to paint in China for the Chinese. Because what is interesting, I think, is to paint what is there for the show and not to bring, you know. And do you know some Chinese artists? Not so much. But I know, uh, I know that everything I, every time I go somewhere else and I look at something so different than what I used to, it brings good accidents for the painting. Merci, mademoiselle. Thank you. Merci à vous.